Hello everyone, Dr. Susan Brown with the Center for Better Bones. You know, it's practically every other day somebody asks me, why do we have to take nutritional supplements? Can't we receive everything we need from food? And I would certainly say as an anthropologist, that's how we evolved doing it. We got everything we needed from food, but however, today I'm gonna to tell you it's very difficult. In fact, I think it's almost impossible. And there's many reasons why it's so hard to get the, all the nutrients we need. For the one thing, we need more nutrients because we are exposed to more toxins than ever before, more heavy metals, more pesticides, more plastic, hundreds of thousands of chemicals in the environment, all of them putting a burden on our minerals, on our antioxidant reserve, all of them causing us to need more nutrients. The environment's different. Number two, the quality of the food is different. Today, we eat mainly processed food. What they see, 70% of our diet is processed. In food processing, you lose a great deal of nutrients. In fact, years ago, I was doing some calculations. When you go from whole wheat, uh, just the whole wheat flour to enriched white flour, even enriched, you lose 95% of the B6, 91% of vitamin E, 87% of magnesium, 77% of potassium, even 51% of the folic acid, 72% of the fiber, it goes on and on, just moving from whole wheat flour to white flour. Then if you take something as simple as going from an orange to orange juice, you lose 100% of the zinc, 74% of the riboflavin, 74% of calcium, 74% of iron. We're gonna post this little chart for you just to begin seeing what you lose when you go to processed foods and take a second look at how much processed foods you're actually eating. The next issue, is even if you say, look, I'm eating fresh whole foods, we have a problem of soil depletion and the minerals in our food is much, the, is much lower over these past 50 years. It's surprising due to farming practices, pesticides, overuse of the soils, we have a great decline in nutrient content. And I'm also gonna show you a chart actually between 1950 and 1999 for the nutrient losses. Like in this sample that they did, in the fruits, um, broccoli, for example, has 62% less calcium, 32% less iron, and 13% less phosphorus. And, and we've looked at several nutrients. It's all very similar, a great decline in mineral content in the soil. Mineral content in the soil, mineral content in the food has gone down dramatically over the last 50 years. So even if you think you're eating a really healthy looking apple, it will not have the same amount of nutrients that it would have had 50 years ago. The other issue, of course, is even things like acidification, even things like climate change. We're just writing some articles on climate change and how the excess of carbon dioxide actually is damaging our crop, the nutrient content of the crops. But the final and most simple issue, and this is the issue that pertains to the blog that we did today, the blog you're gonna see here attached, is that we are not eating the amount of fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds that we should. In my home state of New York, I was really surprised to see that a recent study found that one third of the population on any given day does not eat one fruit or one vegetable. And I thought, wow, what's happening? How can we be doing this? If you followed my work, you know we're talking about getting the, some of the requirements for our minerals from and our nutrients from at least two cups of vegetables for lunch and two for dinner, a few servings of fruit a day, a couple servings of nuts and seeds. One third of the people in New York did not eat, eat ate less than one fruit or one vegetable any, any given day. And then I started to look at the national statistics and it was very the same. Nationwide, about a third of the people on any given day don't consume even one fruit and one vegetable. So. There you go, it's pretty hard. If you, even if you had a high quality food, even if you had the best soils, we're not eating those foods. And what are the symptoms? How do we see the end result that people have a lot of problems with degenerative diseases, a lot of problems with fatigue, a lot of problems with weakness? You can see by the symptoms that we're not delivering to the body everything it needs. When I work to recover my own health, when I work to recover health of thousands of other people I've worked with, we definitely, see, we definitely see great benefits with nutritional supplementation. As I like to say, your body's amazing. One single cell can have a thousand chemical reactions a second. That's all fueled by material we put in. This physical body, as they say in Ayurveda, is the body of food. 
I'm always suggesting give your body a full deck to play with. Get all the nutrients and high quality from food and supplements as you need. Be well, and we'll talk again soon.